what's up guys welcome to just know it now i'm here to review the samsung galaxy s10 in 2023 is it worth buying samsung galaxy s10 in 2023 after this video you should be able to answer that question now this phone was released in in february 2019 it's a 6.1 inch display and the screen is actually the dynamic amoled hdr 10 plus okay this is how the skin looks like it has the power button over here this time samsung took it a little bit up and then on the left side you have the big speed button and then the volume up and the volume down keys now if you come to the lower part here you have the charging ports and of course the earp ports which a lot of users thought that it wasn't going to come with you have the speakers also on the right side and then that is it you have the mic ports to over there now if you come to the top here you also have another mic and then the same tray all right now if you come to the back you have three lenses for the camera over here we have the wide lens which is 12 megapixels we have the telephoto lens which is 12 megapixels and then the ultra wide lens which is also 16 megapixels now okay so we'll be going out in a bit to check these lenses out very soon if you look at the s9 samsung had the fingerprints somewhere over here but in the s10 samsung put the fingerprints on the screen which is actually real quick all right now it has the front facing camera here as well um this phone has almost like no bezels all right this phone is actually really light as compared to the samsung galaxy s9 the s9 was very thick but this one is very thin okay now let's look at the storage okay for the storage we have the 128 gig which comes with um six gigabytes of memory um that's ram and we have the one same 128 gig but with the eight gigs of ram now this is actually 128 gig um you can see here but then it's with the eight gigs of ram okay and you also have the 512 um, gigabytes space which also comes with the eight gigs of ram now that's it for the storage now performance wise this phone does really 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 well you know it has the refresh rates 60 frames and it does really well especially if you are playing some of these games on it battery is 3400 and it's not removable now one of the features that samsung added to this phone is the ability to charge another phone that's the wireless power sharing now currently i can't share my power because i'm below um, 30 percent but if you have like a galaxy earbuds or galaxy watch or even another phone you can basically turn this wireless charging on turn the phone over and then put the other one on it and you can see that it will charge it that's one of the features that samsung added to this phone all right guys so the samsung galaxy s10 runs the android 12 you know it actually came in android pie which is 9.0 but it's upgradable to the android 12 i think samsung did quite better with this phone because usually samsung give you two updates so if um for example it was supposed to stay in 11 because it came in 9 so they get a 10 they get 11 but samsung actually gave this phone the android 12 which follows the android 13 on the galaxy s23 um and s23 ultra now it also runs the one ui 4.1 which is way better and makes it you know um, um a bit refreshing and having all these um you know swipes and everything one thing that i love about this is this tiny thing here this tiny button here like the one that iphone has um you use that to you know navigate through so if i have for example messages here and have my browser open i can just do this swipe from the bottom here and switch between apps as easy as possible all right and it's one of the things that i love and i also like the way the apps you know pops out when you tap on them the way they just open like that you know it's like they open with the shape of the app right it's so beautiful and guys i think that the samsung galaxy s10 
um is worth buying in 2023 now let's go out and then check out the camera all right guys so we are outside now and you, you can see we are on the wide lens and just look at how the wide lens captures everything here actually in ghana there's so much traffic you know so you can see a signage there all right let's try the telephoto lens and see whether we can read what's on the side on the signage it's um it's far ahead of us so let's check two times zoom four times zoom and then 10 times zoom guys this is so crazy sorry for my hand shaking i'm using one hand to shoot the video and so you can see the signage where it is and look at this guys this is the 10 times zoom lens all right this is crazy i mean back to the wide lens this is the telephoto four times zoom and then okay let's try there's this building there let's see how it looks like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh and that's um best point as you can see all right so that's for the telephoto lens guys let's check the ultra wide lens check the ultra wide lens ultra wide lens coming this way oh let me get out of this pool right here and you can see that the ultra wide lens sort of have a lot of stuff in focus all right so this is the wide lens captures here the ultra wide lens kind of sort of have a lot of stuff in focus and that's as it's for the s10 now let's try and take some photos i just love how it blends the background also with also with the color saturation it's just so perfect all right you can actually take um photos in a portrait mode so like this and guys this is so 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 beautiful this is so so beautiful now you can also take um videos in portrait mode so here are some photos that i took with the samsung galaxy s10 when i went out 